And Jermont Terry now live in Markham. And Jermont, the town taking action because of your report. Yes, Brad and Erica, after CBS2 dug into the PPP loan data in this community and brought it to city leaders, there are now steps to reel in the more than 1,400 questionable businesses who all got taxpayer-funded loans. Now, here's a look back at why the city is now taking action. They have this listed as a sports complex. And is this a sports complex? No, it's just a house. It's just a house? And there's no, there's nothing in the basement or anything no, of that nature. There's clearly no fitness center operating in the middle of this residential neighborhood. Yet the man who previously lived here managed to get $20,000 of your tax dollars by simply applying for a PPP loan. When the person that operates this business received $20,000 from the government and having applied a single dime towards the city of Markham, that is a clear indication of what to you. Fraud. Do you see a hotel or motel here? Records show the owner of this farmland in Markham received two PPP loans for a total just shy of $50,000 to keep a hotel running. That's a lot of green to keep goats fed, considering that's all we spotted here. And then there's this. Let me introduce you to Markham police officer Kenneth Muldrow. He's the same Kenneth Muldrow who applied for and received $20,000 of taxpayer money to keep his landscaping company going during the pandemic. I'm trying to figure out why your lawn care service is not registered as a licensed business with the city of Markham. Can you explain yourself? <laughs> I don't have a, a loan here. Please. Well, you got a PPP loan that was paid out for $20,000 uh, back in March. So if you don't have a lawn care service, who, who does? And it, and it was registered here to the police department, sir. Now, Officer Kenneth Muldrow used this address behind me, which is City Hall and the police department, for his loan application. It's the same address tonight where city leaders are going to introduce a new home ordinance to further regulate, regulate any of the businesses, specifically those more than 1,400 that they believe are questionable. That meeting starts at 7 o'clock. We will be there and have a full wrap-up beginning on CBS2 News at 10. For now, reporting live in Markham, Jermont Terry. Brad, back to you. Yeah, job just begun, but job well done. Thank you, Jermont. And you can see the rest of Jermont's exclusive investigation on our app. Search CBS Chicago wherever you get your apps.